Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Sammy with the Mexican Cars Boy. Today I wanted to show you guys how I clean really dirty, trashed rims. So I'm going to be using acid to clean. Um, let me bring you guys in close and let's get to it. Alright guys, so I'm going to be using acid and things you want to watch out for because this is pretty uh, tough on your skin and on your lungs if you were to inhale it so you want to make sure that you have protection gloves at least and uh, some glasses if uh, you think you might get some in your eye um, and then also just try not to inhale it when you spray it so uh, Let's get started. So, I'm gonna spray a lot on the rim. And you can do it, you just dry or rinse off the rim before you do it. But for rims like this, you wanna spray a lot. And one precaution with acid is <laughs> See, you gotta make sure you don't inhale it. Um, you'll know once you use it. But one of the things with acid, you gotta make sure to do it outside of direct sunlight. Um, because it will etch the paint if you do it on a hot rim. Make sure it's cool to the touch and out of direct sunlight. Because it will etch the paint, the clear coat. And also, you have to do it it's safe on almost all rims but just, you just got to make sure it's clear coated and the majority of modern rims are clear coated unless they're aftermarket if they're aftermarket i would watch out and be careful so you want to let it sit for about 30 seconds and then uh rinse it off so it's been about 30 a little more than uh, a minute now and i could see the the brake dust is broken down as you can see as I rub it on here. So what I'm gonna do next is rinse it off. since this is a pretty um, beat up rim I'm gonna do another uh, round on it so I'm gonna go to spray that and the focus is gonna be more on the on the drum on the inside of it and the spots I might have missed Right, so I'm gonna let that sit for another 30 seconds and then I'll rinse again all right guys so the second pass I've let it sit on there so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off now So that's the second rinse. Now, one last step you need to do. Um, so normally what I'll do is I'll go ahead with a 
regular degreaser and then start to agitate all those the inside and in here where where it just needs some brush brushing action right but I'll skip that so I don't want I don't want to make this a long video but I do want to show you guys the next step that you should do um, to neutralize the surface on you because this is a this is a very acidic and if you let it dry and let the acidic uh, nature of the chemical sit on the paint it will etch it so I want to neutralize it so I'm gonna use a pH neutral soap and then just do it let me show you guys Alright, there you go guys, so I just used pH neutral soap to neutralize the surface because I don't want this rim, once it dries, to be acidic and it'll etch the paint. That's just some uh, a tip I got from, you know, watching videos and learning about the, the chemical aspect of this, of using this method. I love it because it helps me break down really, really, really tough brake dust has been on for years and years and years and make the rim look brand new all right y'all thanks for watching peace